Welcome back, fragrance family. It's Alex here again, Seven Introvert. And as you can see, I have two bottles here of Cedrat Boise. Now we're gonna be proving or disproving the myth. Is there really a reformulation? Let's go. Right now, I have two bottles here of Cedrat Boise. One is the 2017 formula, and this one is the 2019. Now this is the original one that I have at my place and yeah, it, as usual it performs really well. But then I got a uh, backup bottle of this 2019 formula and upon spraying this, that's where I noticed the difference. Now opening this 2017 that I have, it's really dense with lemon, the lemon actually resembles Kind of like, kind of like pineapple-ish. It has this uh, right amount of sweetness onto this lemon or pineapple vibe that's going on here. I also get this, um, how do you call this, the leathery nuance underneath the sweetness of this uh, fruits. There's a leather tone. It's not, it's not that, um, it's not that big of a tone of a leather. It's just underneath. Now, when I the 2019 what I felt at first was the alcoholic blast it's not as rich as the 2017 bottle that I have upon initial spray there's this huge dose of alcohol and yeah to be fair there there are also fruits in here I think there's lemons there's bergamot but um, to be fair for the top Upon comparing them, this one is the 2019 is uh, I'd say thinner. It's a thinner version of the 2017 that I originally have. So this one for the top notes it's denser. Now let's go on to the longevity of both. I have the 2017 lasting on my skin. On my skin, mind you, for 12 solid hours. 12 solid hours. Now with this uh, newer version 2019, it's still pretty good. I get 8 hours on my skin. Solid. Minimum. So yeah, um, the next difference that we're going to be looking at are the fonts and the sprayer. So let's take a look. Yeah. This one is 2017. This one is the 2019. Now I want your eyes to focus on this writing on the parfum over here and this one as you can see from here from this view you could see that this one the other parfum here in the 2017 is thicker than the writing of uh, than the font of other parfum here in the 2019 it's I think you could you could see the differences in the thickness of the uh, font now next one is this this on uh, name Cedric Boise compared to this 2019 one this one 2019 this one the 2019 is a little should I say scattered the letters are more spaced out while the one for 2017 is a bit compressed I, I think you can see the difference here this one has a taller font it has more space between the words sedrat and boise while this one it has you can see the space here it's just very minimum compared to the space here now for the sprayers I'm gonna be unscrewing both I am unscrewing the 2019 and I'm unscrewing 2017 now this is the 17 I want you to look at that sprayer all right and this is the 2019 I think you see the difference right the size of their sprayers this one is a little should I say um it has it has a thinner 
it has a thinner sprayer it's more compressed whereas this one it has more diameter as you can see this one is almost this one is almost hitting the edges here while this one is not it's not hitting that edge now here we are focusing the underneath of the bottle of the 2017 and as you can see here the word eau de parfum is it's written on a concave uh, a concave pattern here eau de parfum as you can see there versus the 2000 and 19 which we have here let me show you 2019 uh, there it's just plainly written horizontally as you can see I'll show you the 2017 so you can see side by side the difference right now as you've seen the sprayers and the fonts that were used in the 2017 and the 2019 let's go on to the mid notes of this for the mid for the 2017 what i am getting is this i'd say soft leather embracing this pineapple accord along with the lemon along with the bergamot there's just like this soft black leather enveloping those those accords so it makes up for a very fresh uh, a very fresh type of scent which is you know very useful for the Philippine weather now when I've sprayed this one the 2019 what I got for the mid was the birch yes there's no leather in this what I get is a birch note it's I'd say is slightly smoky uh, undertone that you know it, it just it just wafts the smokiness wafts amidst this uh, lemon and bergamot concoction so yeah this is the main difference for the mid uh, mid uh, stage now for the base they're practically you know the same it dies down to this clean musk the citrusy musk but this one as well it has this leathery tones while this one retains its birch tones so as you've seen i took my time testing both of these bottles 2017 and 2019 over the course of let's say five days or over a week tested them on my skin on my clothes tester strips and yeah i did my research on the differences in sprayers and the prints and for all of you who's wondering is there really a reform or not there is there is a reform for the veteran noses who's who's had cidret was a way before 2019 if you've tested the current one the 2019 you might be a little disappointed because of the uh, let's say lightness and the airiness of the 2019 version this one the earlier ones 2017 and older they are like dense it has this it has this attractive sweetness on them so yeah um for the veteran noses just hunt for the 2017 and older batches but for the young blood for the new ones who are just starting to venture into mancera fragrances getting the cedric was a 2019 version is not that bad longevity is still there pretty solid eight hours on my skin clothes lasts a lot longer the projection is still there it's still a beast mode scent it could still cloy people although it's it's uh airy compared to the 2017 one still full bottle worthy for the beginners all right so I, I hope you appreciate that and i hope you share this video to everyone who's been questioning is there really a reform for mansara sidrit was a share this video hit the like hit the subscribe button notification bell as well and yeah uh, these are just my recommendations my opinions and my suggestions and at the end of the day you do you this has been your host alex and yes love you guys and, uh, as usual <laughs>
love you guys. <laughs> Don't forget to be thank you for watching. Now we will be going on to the mid base. <laughs> mid base. <laughs> Holy shit. 2019. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Oh. Oh. And you do you. Oh, you the shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what is it? Uh, again. <laughs>